got to give Kim Ng some love. She's made some savvy moves at this year's deadline, and in 2021, she traded Starling Marte. Let's get into the tape. Starling Marte out to Oakland and brought back this potential frontline starter, who at the time was scuffling a little bit, right? He was originally drafted by the Nats in the third round. Pause this. And then brought back, traded to uh, the A's, and then traded to the Marlins. So he's been dealt twice, big time stuff, and he can punch tickets. And when you look at his numbers, this is going to be a board heavy skybox. Nays dove in here. Pitchers with 100 plus <laughs> innings pitched, 10 plus Ks per nine, and a 120 plus ERA plus. There's only three guys in the game Shohei, Luis Castilla, and Jesus Lazardo. Okay, so what did the Marlins do different mm -hmm. that he wasn't doing with what, the A's? What I love about this so much, especially with Kim, Kim Ng making this move, you can't teach stuff. And he's always yep. had the stuff. In Oakland, you saw, you were almost surprised when you looked at his numbers and said, man, how is this guy struggling? He's so nasty. So what team can go and take them and fine tune them, get them right, and that's the only way that you get a guy like that onto a board like this. You got to start with the stuff to get to this point. So go back into the tape, Devin, because I want to see what he did. Morph me back, Bader, to Oakland 2020. And it was more 95, 93 mile an hour sinkers coming off his hands. And then he goes over to the Miami Marlins and they're like, hey, we know you got that if you want it, but we think there's more in the tank four seam velocity wise. Top of the zone, 96 miles an hour, just heat seeking, ability to get in on right handers, wipe out slider, pause this real quick. Bring up the fastball punch outs and say, all right, Lizardo, career pitch usage splits. So here we go. 55% fastball, slider. So not much has changed. It's just he's up the slider without question. But bring up, this is the one I want. Take a look at this, 2023 with Miami. He's almost eliminated that two-seamer out of the arsenal. And so watching the pitches, just the, the, the first clips to the second clip of the fastball, those fastballs that are two-seaming, yeah, it feels great that you're getting run on your pitches. But as a hitter looking in, the four-seamer and those two-seamers look exactly the same coming into the zone. But those four-seamers are, are keeping their playing, staying up top to where every hitter you think you're right on it, yep. and then it's going right there over your bet. The two-seamer is almost a favor. Especially if you're, right if you're leaving it out over like that, it's, it's a favor for you because it's coming back down to the zone for you to be on time. And for you it. know, you were a guy that hammered heater in, hammered it quick. It's going to run back over the plate. That's you're the advantage. Get it. But if a guy can get in on you, he expands Absolutely. that dish. Now he gets you swinging at that slider in. So I want to show you a real Muto at bat. You talking about getting out stuffed. JT is one of the best players in the game. Change up down 91, 97 by him, top of the zone. Backdoor breaking ball, doesn't get the call. These are all counts Elevated he, heaters. He heater. knows they're coming. 1-0, heater, he's sitting on it. 2-1, heater, sitting on it. Can't get on time He's for had it. success, too, against the Phillies in his career. Five starts, 3-0 with just north of a three ERA. So he tunnels that, pause this real quick, T tunnels that nasty four-seam heater with the slider. Bring up the heat maps. Do we have the heat maps, Dev? Real quick, from a pitcher's perspective, right? Okay, so imagine someone hitting right here, right-handed hitter. So he predominantly loves to throw his fastballs up and in on righties. Bring up the next one. So be prepared for that. And then what does he do? He tunnels the slider off of it. So it's elevated and then wrap it up under your legs. You got one more? And then the classic change up, down and away. Right. An occasional sinker off that. So he's I mean, got the, weapons to all and parts. And the fact that he can hit every single corner of that quadrant right there completely opens up the plate for him. All right, bring up the Schwarber AB because his best pitch against the Phillies has been his slider. 97 black away, doesn't get the call, goes right back out there with 98. Little change up left on left. Throw me a good slider and a hill fish after it. There it is. And that was perfect right there. That looked like the heater coming in. <laughs> that looked like the heater coming in on him. He bailed on it. Highest whip percentage off. on breaking pitches. Spencer Strider. And the guys who throw noise are usually going to be on this board because they get you sitting heater. And, and you're normally going to see, in my opinion, righties on this list. 
because it's just not as many power, power lefties that can open up the plate as much as Blake Snell and Jesus Lazardo. I mean, that is that is fascinating. It's not too many true power, power lefties in the game. Even Frommer, he's a power lefty. Frommer is even a sinker guy, in my opinion. But Blake Snell and Lazardo are two power lefties out of all the pitchers. Even I mean, I'm, I'm not even putting Rodon in that category. I want to see I the mean, at-bats, Schwarbs, Harper. You can't expect yeah. them to be kind of driving the bus today. It's got to be Trey Turner. Romuto. What Lazardo's going to have to do, he's still going to have to establish that heater. He's got he strikes. can't get to that slider too early. He's going to have to open it up. He's going to have to show that he's willing to throw the heaters and that he's not scared of this Phillies offense. If he can get them off balance with that, he'll have a good outing.